Assalamualaikum and good morning to our honorable speaker and participants. So thank you for joining our workshop entitled Google Tools in Teaching and Learning series. Okay. And then first and foremost, I would like to introduce our speaker today, which is the Associate Prof. Uh, Dr. Shareza Sharif, which is a lecturer in the field of fish genetics at the Faculty of Fisheries and Food Sciences, University of Malaysia Terengganu. UMT. So he is uh, currently the Director for Innovation and Talent Development Center, UMT. His research interest is on genetic improvement of uh, aquaculture species through bleeding and molecular approaches. In teaching and learning, his focus is on the application of simulation-based learning and alternative best assessment in fisheries and aquaculture. He has developed several teaching kits based on simulation, based learning, and one of the teaching kit is what we call as the Fish Breed Pro. Has won the first place in the Anugerah Pemikiran dan Rekabentuk Semula Pendidikan Tinggi Malaysia (APRS) in 2017. Some of the teaching kits have been used to train farmers on fish breeding and genetics for genetic improvement of aquaculture species. He was the recipient for the 13th Anugrah Academic Negara for Teaching Category Applied Science in 2019. He has been invited as selection panel and jury for Anugrah Khas Menteri Pendidikan Malaysia ACRI as well as UMT Teaching and Innovation Competition and UMT Teaching Excellence Award. He has also been invited as trainer for UMT and several universities on assessment, Google application and teaching portfolio. Okay. So, without further ado, I would like to invite Associate Prof. Dr. Shareza Masharif to start the sharing. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Azra. And, uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, Assalamualaikum. And a very good morning. Rabbi Shrahli Sadri wa Yasirli Amri wa Hlun Uqnata Milisani Yafanqawni. Hope that uh, Allah is. Uh, this session for today and uh, ease our uh, understanding and hope that uh, all the participants would, would be enabled to uh, follow and uh, benefit from this uh, session inshallah and uh, first and foremost i would like to uh, thank unimas uh, especially come for inviting me again uh, thank you for this and also to the participant thank you very much for joining this uh, session. Well, uh, today, uh, when uh, last time uh, Dr. Mazlina contacted me and uh, mentioned that for these uh, two series, uh, Google One and Google uh, Series Two, uh, we'll have a, a bit more of a hands on. So for today, I intend to to do a different, not different actually, actually similar as a, a lot of uh, people who do the sharing, but uh, I will uh, try to be as uh, what I call raw as possible. Why? Because uh, Google Tools is about uh, the preparation and also the the collaborative work. So. Uh, Today, what I'm trying to do is, I just show, introduce you a bit using PowerPoint, and then we'll go through in a such a way that participant can see from scratch how uh, we as a lecturer, if we were to start using this approach from zero, how are we going to develop this okay, up until where student will be able to uh, conduct and do the activity okay so from from here we'll try to to initiate in such a way that uh, you will see how i started from this uh, for for these uh, three tools from scratch and then uh, hope that participants who are using uh, having a laptop or even handphone will also start to do and then We'll try to do some collaborative uh, work so that uh, participants can also feel on the aspect of the uh, students. Okay. So if uh, participant can uh, assist me, 
if you can share with me uh, how many of you have uh, used uh, any Google application before uh, so that I can have some uh, uh, views on uh, how far most of the uh, participants have used this. Okay, Dr. Mimi have used uh, some of the Google apps. Okay, uh, Dr. Yong, okay, I have used a uh, Google form. All right, thank you for your for your response. Okay, uh, hope that others can share if they they have used or maybe if you haven't used also, it'll be good if you can uh, inform so that I know and I have in mind where uh, at least how to to start off this uh, when I do this uh, demo. Okay, in this. Uh, series one okay we are going to look into three uh, google apps that uh, can be used for teaching and learning okay so i give you a bit of introduction to about google okay uh, because uh, maybe some of you this is the first session that you attended uh, and you didn't attend the previous one and then we'll go through uh, maybe each one about, about half an hour uh, on a Jamboard, okay, and uh, Google Keep, and also Google Meet. All right. Ah, okay, Dr. Shafina. Inshallah, you can try once you you have this uh, this thing. Okay, so at the end of this course, at least a participant can explain the function and usage of uh, the, these three Google apps and also create a task and collaborate online using Google application. Okay, this is me. Uh, I'm sharing you my handphone number as well as my email address. Please do contact me if you are starting using this Google uh, application tools and you have some queries so that we can share and we can uh, learn together. I would love to, to have some of your views and also your experience. And by doing this, because we are diverse in the field of expertise and uh, it would be good if we can share among each other uh, the difficulties okay, or the issues so that we can work together on how to overcome this uh, when we are doing the teaching and learning. So you can contact me using this uh, number okay, and also this uh, email. All right, so again, just uh, a bit about uh, online and uh, remote learning. So we, do, we know that uh, students still need to do online learning and currently, they are doing remote learning where they are in their own house and uh, it's very difficult for us to do this uh, group work especially in a uh, remote situation so alhamdulillah we are blessed because there are several tools that we are able to use as though students are in the classroom and doing the discussion in front of our eyes but in this case in front of our screen so we have two actually cloud computing platform one is the, the uh, google application and the other one is uh, office 365 okay i just highlight these two because in uh, office 365 uh, if I'm not mistaken, KPT has subscribed, okay? And if you install Office 365 in your desktop using your official uh, email, they will provide you with a uh, one terabyte of uh, OneDrive, Google, uh, Microsoft OneDrive uh, uh, space for you to keep your stuff. And also, actually, now Office is able to do similar to what uh, Google is able of uh, doing. That means collaborate, uh, collaborating and also, in fact, they have their own uh, form to create the form, like just like Google Form. But today, we are going to look into the Google Apps. Okay? 
uh, there are a lot of Google apps that can be used for teaching and learning. Yeah. But uh, I would like to put a disclaimer here. I'm not the uh, official representative of Google. Uh, so I'm not trying to promote Google, but uh, I'm trying to share what we can do with a Google application that can assist us in increasing our effectiveness in teaching and learning. So when we talk about Google, it's all about cloud computing. That means everything that you do is cloud-based. And because of this cloud-based, we are able to take part okay, uh, in real time to do discussion, to do collaboration, as well as to uh, solve certain tasks that we need to do. Okay, so what can Google Apps enables you to do? So one thing is creating content. Okay, so you can create content for your teaching and learning. Okay, I will show you uh, how you can create content using Jamboard. You can also do collaborative work. So afterwards, we can experience doing that. You can also create a worksheet where students can do and even the staff in the office can collaborate together not only for students uh, for example in umt we're also conducting training for non-academician in uh, the use of uh, google sheet that is uh, similar to uh, excel microsoft excel google slide as well as uh, google docs similar to microsoft word and also uh, Google Form, because when we are working from home, still we are able to discuss and create, uh, to synchronize our work without depending uh, of uh, having a thumb drive, so on and so forth. And having Google Apps also enables you to create quiz and also assign tasks. Okay, so now, we are going to go into our first uh, one of the apps that is Jamboard. But in order for me to introduce what's inside Google, okay, uh, can participant go to Google Chrome? Okay, if you have Google Chrome, preferably go to Google Chrome and open Google.com. Okay, and uh, if you have your Gmail, personal Gmail, log in into your Google account using your personal Gmail. Okay, like for us in UMT, we subscribe Google Suite so we can use our institutional email to register and log in into Google. The advantage of uh, subscribing Google Suite is that we have unlimited storage for Google Drive. So we, we, we are not, uh, we don't need to think too much about, for example, creating tasks where for uh, student submit and it will take up a lot of space. Take, for example, if you were asking student to prepare a video. Just imagine if they prepare maybe a three to five minutes of video, it may take up about 200 megabyte or maybe 500 megabyte. And if you have about 100 students, so you can imagine how many space if they were to submit, for example, inside Google Form, if you are using it. Uh, because personal Gmail, they only provide you with a 15 gigabyte. But if you are using uh, institutional, email but provided the uh, university subscribe g suite then you have unlimited storage and you can do a lot of things for your teaching and learning okay so let us go to i'm um, I, I will stop this uh, powerpoint and i'm going into google chrome so if a participant can uh, follow me uh, let us go into Google. OK, 
Okay, I'm trying to go back here. If you are opening Google, okay. So I was informed that this is uh, not WebEx meeting. So it's a, a WebEx meet. That means in a webinar session. So uh, I cannot respond with the uh, participant. Hope that participant would uh, assist me by uh, responding inside the chat. So how many of you have already been currently now in, uh, in your Google Chrome and also sign up and sign in into Google? Okay, if I have a response, all right. Thank you, Dr. Mimi. Uh, if I have a more response, then uh, it will assist me in uh, going to the next step. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Angela. Right, uh, is there anybody still, uh, uh, what we call that, uh, having uh, still going in into there? All right, done. Eh? Okay. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Now, if you are in, now let us go through this. If you look into this, uh, the nine box here on the top right, if you can see my mouse is hovering over here, okay, you can click this. Okay, you will see there are a lot of uh, uh, tools, okay? So the three tools that we are going to go through today is Google Meet, okay, where it's just like WebEx. And the only thing is it's in a Google platform. The other one, if you scroll down, okay, I'll show you first, sorry. You will have your account. Uh, you can Google search from here. There is a Google Map, uh, YouTube, because uh, Google has already buy YouTube. And then you have the Play Store, News, Gmail, uh, Google Meet. This is your Google Drive. Uh, this is your the, the calendar where you can uh, put up your appointment. In fact, if you are trying to create a class, a Google Meet, uh, session with students so you can put up the uh, task so that it can be uh, seen by the student as well as uh, you can track your program okay you have a google translate you can also have uh, also google photos if you scroll down some more you can see the three uh, similar to microsoft you have this google doc Google Sheet and also Google Slide, similar to PowerPoint. Uh, you have Google Hangout. It's similar to Google Meet. It's for video conferencing, but the difference is you cannot record if you are doing Hangout. It's more of a like social interaction. Okay, this the second apps that we are going to use is Google Keep. Uh, this is the one. Okay. I hope that uh, if you don't use it, we'll try to see. And I hope it can entice you when you start to realize what Google Keep can do. Okay. This is the first uh, tool that we're going to use. That is Google Jamboard. Okay. You have Google Classroom. Next week, we're going to Google Classroom. It's similar to your, like our normal LMS. Okay. But it's inside Google. You have also Google Earth, where uh, it's just like a satellite. You see it in real time. Those of you who are doing, for example, uh, engineering maybe, or science-based, some of the lecturers are using Google Earth as a task for students to see the profile of a certain area. Okay. Uh, this is Google collection for you to uh, to store in all your reference. Uh, Google Ads, uh, Google One, I think this is a new one. Okay, they have another one. Uh, this is not here. Google Expedition. Google Expedition, just give you a glance. If you are doing uh, any 
uh, any subject related to science or even uh, tourism. Google Expedition has some of the least of augmented reality where students can see, for example, fish. Uh, they're just using the phone, but they might look crazy in their house because their parents might not know it. But if you give them a list of the things that is already exist in Google Expedition, they can see the model of a fish right in front of their eyes but inside the phone okay and they can hover around as though that the fish is in front of them they are also for corals and they are also for for other stuff even they also have for virtual reality in which uh, you can see a certain area 360 degrees okay so you can use that for your teaching and learning as well okay these are uh, among the few things, but if they are not inside here, you can go to Google Workspace. So inside Google Workspace, they have other uh, apps that is also can be integrated inside Google's. Okay, let us go back here. Okay, now, let us go to Google Jamboard. All right, thank you very much. Okay, so click on this nine box here. Okay, All right, you can click here Jamboard. Okay, let us go to our first Jamboard. Okay. I'm opening up this thing. Okay, this is the Jamboard. For those of you who haven't used this, so you might see a, a blank area. You don't have many files. Okay, open up first. Now I will show to you uh, a brief overview of what Jamboard can do. Okay, you know that. Uh, I go back here while you are using Jamboard. Okay, now you can, uh, I want to share to you this. All right. You can use Jamboard to create your video lectures. This is one example uh, too. I would like to share to you how you can create a video lecture using Jamboard. I'm recording using a screen recorder using my tablet okay and uh, what i want to show to you is how i play around with the slide yeah. okay i was explaining to them about this uh, topic on taxonomy So this is what you can do with uh, Google Jamboard. Okay, I fold a bit, a bit some more. So if you want to explain something with some writing also you can do. This is where you can insert your PowerPoint or you can make the PowerPoint slide into picture and insert. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. uh, can I ask you a question? Can, can. Um, when we are using this uh, this uh, Jamboard, so yep. uh, in order for us to creating this video, um, we are using this Jamboard. We can show our face as well in this video or not? Ah, okay. Embed our face or not? If you if you are using a screen recorder, for example, in your tablet, okay, then 
you can use the setting for your screen recorder to add in the uh, your face. Uh, Google Jamboard, there, there is no uh, recording. So what, what we are doing, for example, remember when you are using screencast. So you record using screencast, but now you are presenting not PowerPoint, but you are presenting the Jamboard. So just like uh, you are making screencast video of your PowerPoint, so now you are just changing the platform from PowerPoint into Jamboard. So you can add in your face. Like in my case, that the one that I showed to you is where I use my tablet to record. Okay. And okay, so this is the thing. So if you can see while you're explaining, you can uh, make the picture bigger. And then you can uh, write Wait, uh, just a bit more. Okay, so while explaining, you can also uh, write. which is a, a little bit different from a PowerPoint. So if you want to uh, explain something, so you can also using this. So uh, Dr. Shah, um, yes. this method, it seems like we have to do the pre-recorded, right? And then we embed in the jam bomb. It is? Uh, no. Uh, afterward, we'll show to you how you're going to use this. Uh, that means you are when you are recording, you are straight you are straight away explaining this. Uh, understand, understand. All right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Ratish. Okay, welcome. Okay, so uh, I just show to you here so that you can have some view how these things are being used. So for those who are having. Uh, other than PowerPoint, you're trying to show like this. So by explaining this, it can increase your understanding. Okay. Now, let us go back to uh, Jamboard. Okay, I'm going to, uh, and sorry, another one I'd like to show to you is uh, this one. Okay, I've used uh, Jamboard as one of the student activity. How I'm going to use it? Okay, let me show you this. In my lab class, okay, but again, as I told you, this is just a tool. The most important thing is the design of your uh, instructional design of your teacher and learning. Okay, in this case, the step that I use. Uh, since we cannot go for a field trip, generally last semester, uh, this current semester where they are having final exam, we will have a field trip to the fish landing site. So how to make them understand the process, I created this Jamboard because previously we have uh, been to the fish landing site and uh, we took a picture. So it's just like playing a jigsaw puzzle. I created this uh, Jamboard having all these uh, pictures. Okay. There are about six uh, slides. Okay. Now, what the, the student need to do is they collaborate together and discuss. They have, uh, a, they have each group has their own WhatsApp group for the lab. And then what they need to do is to arrange back the picture and label the picture starting from the boat part at the, the landing port up until the, the packaging. So I just give them this one and I share the link. So the link you can see here is each group. Okay, For example, this one is for 
uh, sharp to do do. This one is for C muffin. This one is for Nemo. So we give them uh, the Jamboard to each group. Okay. First, look here. They are sorry. This is the raw uh, file that the Jamboard that I give to them. Okay, this is the output. See, from just Jamboard, they can prepare a report, okay, putting their uh, group members, and then they can put additional slide, okay, to explain, for, okay, this is for Pukat Jerut, and then the next one, they arrange and label the steps, okay, and then the other one, for Pukat Tunda. Okay, so they use their own creativity based on the group discussion on how to display the flow. And again, uh, showing the, the process and also labeling. Okay. Then the packaging process. So they, they rearrange back. So the good thing about having this uh, way by sharing this Jamboard to the student, I can track their progress because I can just open up any time and I can make a comment to them. Okay. So picture is based on their own creativity. They can add in to, for cosmetic uh, purposes. Okay. And how they arrange also is based on their own creativity. So this you can imagine, uh, see what Jamboard can be used for. Okay, and uh, these are the facilities. What I'm trying to show is the different ways of the present, okay, by just using Jamboard. Okay, some groups in which uh, we can make comments. Okay, what I mean by making comment is that Take for example this one. If I can, uh, I notice that the flow is wrong. I can just add a sticky note here over here. I can put here maybe red colored so that they can differentiate. I said uh, this process uh, is not uh, should not be should be at the end so i can save i can just put it here so the student can receive instant feedback straight away even though they are uh, having different places and still they can receive my comments and uh, they can uh, straight away do the uh, uh, correction So two ways you can see for our part, how we can create content and for the student part, how they can do like that. Ah, yes. Okay. Let me look up in the chat something. Ah, yeah. So microeconomics, Dr. Shafinas, ah, you can also use this. You can explore. All right. Any more question before we go? I show to you how to use this Jamboard. So far, no question. Uh, no question. Ah, huh? uh, yes, it is similar to SharePoint. Okay, this is among one of the what we call as whiteboard. Eh? You know, Microsoft also have their whiteboard, uh, and there are some also other other uh, whiteboard application. But this one is from Google. Okay. The only thing is there is a difference of. Uh, the feature in a laptop or desktop with the feature in your tablet. Because if you were to add in your slide, your PowerPoint slide, as a PowerPoint format, then you need to use a tablet because a tablet and a smartphone has a feature where you can add them. 
the desktop and laptop uh, version cannot use that. But you can, as I said just now, you can convert your slide into pictures, like, like PowerPoint, and then you can insert your PowerPoint slide as a picture inside here. Okay. Now, has any uh, has everybody opened up your your first uh, Jamboard slide? Okay. Yeah? So, I introduce to you this. If you want to name your Jamboard, the top right here is where you put in your name. So name your file. Let's I put it here. Okay, so now you have a name your file. Okay, now you see just now the students making pictures and everything. How to set the background? You see, the background is plain in color. If you go to the top one here set background you can even make it as a note okay or you can set it as like this like a mathematics or you can even adjust color and if you look here you can even add in the image to make it as a background so you can select either from your computer or from the website okay so let's say i put it like this so that uh, participant can see now how are you going to write if you are using a tablet then you can use a pen if you are using a lap uh, a laptop or uh, desktop PC. Okay, I bought this. It's, uh, I don't know about you, but to me, it's quite cheap. I think I bought this about 100, 110. Uh, Huyon. Uh, this is uh, the one that you can use it to write with a pen. So you can, you can put in. Okay, now I'm writing this. Oh, oh sorry. In order for you to write, there is a feature on your left. You can see here, there is uh, the icon pen, rubber icon. This is for the select icon, sticky note, uh, to add image, to, to make a shape, <coughs> and to add text. This is to hover around, because sometimes you want to show, like just now I was showing to, to you. So you can put here a pen, if you click, you can choose the color and the type of uh, pen that you want. Assuming I put in blue. So you can use a mouse. I'm using a mouse. You can also uh, write. Or you can use this, uh, uh, this uh, writing pad and you can just type. Okay. If you want to erase, just press here and you can erase. So you can see that uh, while you are presenting to the student, for example, mathematics or things that you need calculation, so you can just uh, type in. Okay, sorry. You press the pen. And you can just type in. Okay. And even you can just to show to them and a label. So it's just like a, a whiteboard. And then you can use this uh, to present. Okay. Uh, going back to what Dr. Mazlina was asking, if you were to explain this, okay, assuming that I wrap this thing or I can clear the frame, if you want to make a video, then you can open up your screencast, okay, 
and I put a frame over here so that the screencast can capture this frame and you can start to record. So when you record, you can have your picture because we can adjust the picture inside there. And once you record, you're just going to explain, okay, this is the calculation x equals to y plus b2. Okay? And you can put here 43.557. Okay, and you can also draw the flow while you record. So this is one of the way that yeah, you can do. Okay. Now, some of you might not have this. So how are you going to explain and write? If you're going to use a mouse, it might be that difficult. Unless you are already well uh, expert in uh, writing it very nicely using a mouse. Okay. My... My suggestion is, okay, the most simple thing, right, now I'm not using this. I can just use my tablet, opening up the same file, okay, let me open up this. Okay, now what you can see, I'm using my tablet right now. I can write. So, even if you have like this, we are having a webinar you have with a student, you use Jamboard to explain, but you don't have this, maybe you, you don't have this uh, writing pad, or uh, you, it's not suitable for you to use mouse, so you can just use your tablet, okay, because it is synchronized. Now you see the, the concept of this thing is cloud computing, and it is synchronized, so you can straight away do like this. Okay. Uh, anybody who is uh, opening up a laptop or a desktop right now, try and open up your handphone. If you don't have an, a, a tablet, try to open up your handphone and open up the same Jamboard and you try to write. Okay. Now, I'm trying to use uh, my phone right now. I can uh, open up the Jamboard. Okay, so now I'm I'm uh, using my my uh, smartphone, so opening up the Jamboard, and now I'm writing. So, you see. Uh, one of the uh, alternative, if you don't have all these facilities, you still can use Jamboard to explain. And by having your smartphone or your tablet, you can write it in, all right? If you want to add uh, sticky notes, for example, if you, just now, you can click here on the left sticky note. You can change the color and also you can type in. Uh, if you are giving a task to the student, then you can put a sticky note and write up the task for the student to use. Okay, here if you want to insert a picture, And this one is for you to add a shape, okay? There is a, a section. If you are using a tablet or a phone, 
they have a feature of assistive drawing tool. So if you look here, I'm uh, making up a circle and uh, sorry, a square. I'm drawing and it will change up into a square. If I'm making a circle, So it will turn up into a circle. Or I want to do a triangle. <clears throat> okay. So for those of you who wants to make a shape, then you can do this uh, basic shape by just uh, using this uh, assistive uh, drawing tools. And you can also convert into a text. For example, I put here. I'm writing test, it convert into a text test. So uh, these are among the things that you can use using uh, Google Jamboard. If you want to add a text, so you can just click text and you can type. So underneath here, there is a square with the letter T. So you can put this and you can add the text and you can type. Okay. And if you want to move all this thing, just use this uh, mouse, the arrow key. And you can do this. Even you can turn, same as this one, for you to. Uh, sorry, resize and to change this. So this is sometimes when you explain to them like the one I'm showing to you. So you can play around like this. And if you want to, ex to highlight, you can use this, the bottom one laser. And you can do this. Okay. Okay. So far, how is it? Is there any anything that you are lost or you still can follow? Okay, doctor. So far. Okay. How to erase the test? Oh, this one. The the writing or the text? Or oh, the text. Okay. What you can do is, you use this arrow key on the left, like just like the mouse. Highlight here, and just delete. Okay, same as this one. You can just press here. Okay, you have two way. After you, you use the select button, select, you can just press delete. But if you are using a tablet, there's no uh, key. So you can just press this three dot here on the top right. So you can delete. Ah, okay. Now let us, uh, can we do storyboard like inserting interactive quiz in between the slide? Hmm, interactive quiz, that means in between the slide, uh, you mean that there is a question outside of the Jamboard? If, ah, that one, thank you very much for asking. I never thought about that before. But at the moment, uh, there is no, you cannot link that uh, to the outside, but you can create the quiz on the next slide. For example, you give a task here, you can create another slide and the quiz will be here. Okay, uh, this is what also uh, you, can, you can do. But let me try here, if let's say we give them a link, Uh, they cannot go. Yeah. So you cannot do that at the moment. But alternative, you can add in a slide and uh, you can put up the question for them to answer. Okay. All right. So another thing, 
I need to use this because the uh, the the one the version inside the the desktop cannot cannot be used to add uh, a file. If you are having opening up your tablet or handphone on the left you can see there is a plus button okay uh, if on the handphone if you are using jamboard on the handphone yes there is on your left apart from the the pen the rubber the eraser there is a plus button Okay, there is a list of things that you can add. That's why using a phone or a tablet, you can add in your file. Okay, let's see now I'm adding up. Let's say a, a slide. Now you can see here that I'm adding up a slide. Okay, but using a desktop, you cannot expand this slide. You can, the slide is considered as just an image. Okay, this is what I'm trying to show to you. If let's say you are, you want to explain to the student, but now you want to, you want to use your slide. You can synchronize. You are holding the tablet. Student like the one that I'm showing to you. So, you can press on your tablet or on your phone the three dot. There is an instruction mentioning expand. Okay, there is an instruction. They mention expand. So, you press expand. You can hover around the slide that you want. Sorry. Okay. Assume that I'm using this. I'm taking out one of the slide. Okay. This three dot is showing up. Now I'm taking out one of the slide. So I can make this bigger. Put it up here. Okay. Maybe I erase this. So if you want to explain to the student, so you can use this and I can just highlight like this. Okay, you can see on this part. So in terms of you want to interact with the student, you can do like that. Okay. Now I'm not sharing you the file. Okay. Assuming now that I want to share with you so that the student also can interact because you want to discuss with the student. Okay. I'm trying to share this link here. Okay. You see this uh, share button? You can click. Okay. I copy the link, but I need to change the restriction. Anyone with the link? Copy the link. Okay, I'm sharing to you inside here. So now try to write up something together. Let's say if I were asking you a question, okay, name other types of drive, cloud drive that is available. So give your answer over here. Okay. If some of you can respond, you can write up at this area here. 
Okay. And some of you, if you want to try, maybe you want to change the background. Oh, sorry. Did I put here anyone can, uh, anyone with the link? Okay. Can edit. Oh, view only. Sorry. Edit. Uh, okay. Now I'm updating. Okay. Now you can edit. Sorry. Okay. Try and, uh, and uh, write something and draw. see so you can interact with them uh, you can add in uh, text uh, yes uh, one drive like that and at the same time the students uh can also move to the other slide um, for example i'm currently uh, displaying this slide but you can try and see whether you can move to the third slide and i guess you can also go to the fourth slide so anyone here that can uh, can uh, add in pictures try to add pictures on the third slide Uh, there see uh, another one has already put up the uh, the arrow uh, the, sorry the circle so now you are experiencing what the student is experiencing for example when i share to you how uh, i ask the student uh, i give the student a task in which they need to arrange so they are collaborating with each other discussing using WhatsApp, and also uh, finish up their task using Jamboard. So if, for example, they say that they, they, they are helping this to, to write, then maybe they can put up here. Additional point. Okay, so is, is this your first time using Jamboard for, for most of you? <laughs> uh, that will be good. So explore, uh, and uh, I hope you can be you can you can now have the creativity on how to to uh, use this for your task. Just to share with to recap to you again, the one that I give the task to the student, just like. A jigsaw puzzle i give them a picture i jumble up the picture and now i ask them to show the flow of the process uh, to see whether they can differentiate between the processing from pukat tunda with the processing from pukat jerut so we give them i share to them the file and uh, i created different jam board for each group and share the file and they discuss and do it another way that like you see just now you can just open like this open up your screencast record with your face inside if you find difficulty to to use this a desktop you can remotely write in your tablet while you're recording here so it is one of the way where you can uh, create a video explaining about your uh, points. All right? Okay, let us see. Uh, now coming to page five. See? All right, that's good. Uh, okay. Whoever put this, wishing you all happy Friday, keep it because we are going to use this for Google Keep. I will show to you one of the feature in Google Keep, what you can do by having this picture with a text. Okay. All right. Any question before we move on to, uh, to Google Keep? 
now this is a google jamboard so far no question doctor okay yeah all right huh? thank you okay if not i leave this anyone who wants to uh, to play around they can play i'm moving into another one that is a google keep okay now google keep is less like a note okay it's just like a note this is a, a example of google keep okay how to open that oh, sorry i didn't explain again nine box here you click uh, dr shah sketch yeah. yes boleh, boleh. Uh, there is a questions from professor mohammad zukanai okay um just one question is screencast another google application uh, screencast is uh, not uh, another google application screencast is the a tool by itself for screen recording uh, that is uh, the thing so you need to go to screencast.com for those of you who haven't used screencast okay let me show you you search for screen cast o -matic. are there screen cast o -matic. okay you can go to screencastomatic.com and you click here okay i show to you how if you're going to use this to record the one that done so it can record for free but again free means there is a limitation you want more you need to pay um, but it's not expensive if you pay for the uh, the the next up uh, the, you upgrade uh, last year i only paid 90 ringgit for one year that means every year the cost is about 90 ringgit per year the good thing about screencast if you pay you can edit the video in a more advanced manner and even you can add in a green screen uh, i will uh, if i have the time maybe maybe next uh, next session i will uh, share to you a little bit about this for those of you who uh, may not know what are the advanced feature in screencast uh, just to share with you okay you can record for free here if you press launch recorder so you can launch the recorder. Okay, it is. It will download uh, the apps. Okay. All right, starting up. Okay. Oh, you cannot see. I need to share my whole screen now so that you can see what is going on. Okay, let me share the whole screen. Okay. Uh, can every one of you see this uh, black and white uh, box? Okay. Yeah? So this is the interface. You can select that you want to record a screen, a webcam only, having your face. Or maybe my webcam is using for webex that's why I need. or you can use both uh, so here you can see this is the face will be here so you can adjust where your face can be you can adjust the resolution if you pay you can uh, set for full hd but normally when we put up inside youtube or for student uh, you can add in about 720 is already enough Okay, uh, you can. Okay, now I'm used. I want to record the jam board. Okay, where is just now this jam board? All right. Okay. You see that I want to record this, so I can adjust. I just want to record the screen over here only.
Okay, so this is the area that I want to record. If I want to add pictures, so I can add in here. So now I can just press record down here. You can see this one, record. This, uh, oh, okay, screen. Okay, let's say I want to record screen. Then I just press record. So it gives you three, two, one. Then I can say, Assalamualaikum. Uh, very good morning. Uh, today we are going to learn about this. Okay, so this is the topic that we are going to learn. And uh, while I'm uh, recording this, I'm opening up this one. Okay, to show to you. Okay, so the topic now will be Happy Friday. So this is how you record. And then thank you very much. After this, you can just stop your recording. Pause. You are done, you can press done, save. And you can play back. This is how you record your Jamboard. Okay, so you can edit this uh, trim. You can trim. Okay. If you have the advanced feature, you can add in a, a, what we call this uh, green screen at the back. Then you can save your file here. To save, you can just name your file. Okay. I just put here Unimas1. Folder, you can select which folder that you want to save. Maybe I put in here at the desktop. And you can, after you save, you need to publish. Because it will render the video and save it. Okay. Done. Okay, let us look where it is right now. Desktop. Ah, there. Can you see the, the this one? Okay, Unimas. So this is the video that you can upload to your LMS or share to the student. Okay, I play again. So this is how you create your video. Okay, by screen recording your Jamboard. Okay, is it okay, Prof? Hope uh, Prof can see, but uh, maybe next uh, next next week I will share to you a little bit on uh, using the green screen. But uh, at least now, Prof yeah? said okay. Okay. okay, all right. Okay, now I can stop. Let us go to uh, Google Keep. Good Chrome. Okay. Now we go here to this uh, night box, and there is a yellow. What is it? That yellow thing? Ah, okay. The yellow paper with this bulb. So you just press this Google Keep. So it will come out like this. Okay, so I open up my Google Keep. Where is it just now? Okay, Google Keep is a note-taking uh, apps. Okay, it's a note-taking apps. But the good thing about this is you can write and you can also type. And you know, sometimes when you 
when you go uh, somewhere and uh, maybe the student asks you and you want to explain to the student, you can also explain by using this. Okay. I'll try to show to you the, the feature, but let, us, let, let me entice you with one thing. Eh? Just now that uh, Good Friday, just now Happy Friday. Okay, let me try. Can I save this? Save as. I put it in a desktop. Save this picture. Is it this one? Okay. Friday. Hopefully it's there. Oh, it's not. okay. I need to. Okay, never mind. I'll try to take another another picture. What I want to show to you is this. If you want to create a note, you can start from here. This is in a desktop, so you can type in a title. Again, I put here, uh, Unimas Series One. Okay, you can. Uh, take a note you can write just a normal one but at the bottom here if you click this uh, add image okay uh, for doctor that has that image you can add that inside your google keep okay i'm trying to add in the one that i have just just now download See, I'm adding this picture. Can you see this? Uh, anything is possible when you have it? Okay. What you can do if you have a picture with a text. If you can see this, uh, the three dot here more. If you click, there is an instruction, grab image text. So you can click. You see, it converts the text inside your image into the text. Okay, now again, I delete this. This is the, sorry, this is the picture. Okay, you see this uh, nothing here. I can just click grab image text it can convert this thing so this is uh, part of the way where sometimes for example you lose your notes or you have a slide but you want to explain something one of the way is you can uh, screenshot that slide okay put it as a picture and you can convert it into image uh, sorry into a text Okay, uh, this is one thing. Another one is, if you are using a phone, generally when uh, you are typing this, oh sorry, so again, when you are typing this, you can also transform this. Sometimes you are typing, you are on the go, writing up the points, okay, or maybe you, you are preparing uh, some uh, question for the task or exam if you write here you can also copy to google docs so it can straight away send and if you open it's already here so sometimes you are, you are on the move and you want to uh, create something for your teaching and learning, but you don't have the tools yet. Maybe uh, you don't have a tablet or you just have a phone. So you can just uh, save any image and then you can write up the question. Just now, this is just uh, to show you to grab image. But if you are want to create a task for a certain picture that you want to the student to to settle to solve then you can write up the question 
you can copy this to Google Doc and it can transform here. So once you come back to the office or to your house, you can open up this Google Doc and you can straight away uh, continue with your work. So this is another way of how uh, you can use Google Keep. Sometimes you just have a simple idea, but uh, you don't have the access to use uh, Microsoft Word and so on. Uh, last time before COVID, you know, we are waiting in the airport. You didn't bring a laptop. So you, you can just write inside here and copy it to Google Docs, go back to your office and you can do this. Okay, if you have many uh, what we call uh, notes like mine, okay, you can label your notes. Anytime that you do, you can label them. Okay, how to label? If you click this uh, three button, because now I'm opening up under my label FIS, you can change the label into other label. Because when you create many notes, the note is everywhere. So how do you organize? You can create labels and it will be put inside that particular label. Okay. So uh, you can try right now. I give you a few moments. Let us go together. If you want to create a note on the top here, you can create. If you are using a tablet, there is a plus sign button. You can uh, put a plus and it will make a new note. There is a colorful plus sign at the bottom right. But if you don't have it, you are using a laptop or a desktop. Uh, there is no plus sign. You can straight away put it here. So put in your title. Okay. And you can type in the note. Okay. After this, we are going to transfer this to Google Doc. So just type in any note. Okay. You can add in uh, pictures, you can even change the background, right? So that you can easily differentiate your notes. Okay, uh, let's see if I can. A copy. You can also make a copy. If you have finished typing, for example, let's say you have a you are done then you can click this form here you can copy to google docs if you want to add drawing you can just click here to add drawing uh, this is again where you can use your uh, tablet tablet uh, pad writing pad then you can do anything okay and you can also change this into a notepad. So if you look here, you have in a text form, you also have in a written form. Okay, outside of teaching and learning, if you are going to a seminar or conference, it is very useful because if you want to write you can just write you want to type you can just type okay and even you can take a picture 
you can just uh, for example let's say we take a picture just now uh, it cannot be be done here but Inside your, let me check here first. Ah, uh, cannot. This just a drawing. Okay, what I want to show to you is, if you're using a tablet or a smartphone, if you click on the picture, that there is an icon like a brush on the top. So you can label this thing. Sometimes you want to highlight certain things. Okay. So did you notice that is uh, I add in just now certain uh, things that I want to highlight for this and I just write up inside this uh, phone okay so how how do you what where is the application sometimes you can add in screenshot your slide okay this is one way of how you want to interact with your students let's say if they don't understand certain portion or certain parts so what you can do is you can just screen capture your slide using your phone or tablet insert the picture and you can just draw or scribble on the slide and after this you can even send you can save and send to the student uh, regarding the things that they don't understand so these are among the things that you can use with uh, google keep so it's a very straightforward Okay. Uh, again, just now, I just want to show if you want to create a new one, just click here. If you want to draw, just click and then you can start uh, drawing. And you can add the image. And another thing is you can just grab the image text that you have already had inside there. Another, another uh, ways why uh, the the ability to use grab image text because sometimes you have your question i know that some uh, lecturers last time they printed out the question they lose their file the soft copy so accidentally delete or their thumb drive is a uh, crash so they don't have the soft copy anymore Okay, there are ways that you can do maybe you can scan and convert that is the the and one one way you scan and uh, you can uh, uh, save it as pdf and you can another way the fastest way just snap the picture put it inside google keep and grab image to text so you get back the question in a written uh, typing form and you can send it to google doc so you don't need to retype uh, you don't need to scan just take a picture convert uh, put it inside google keep grab the image text and you can transfer to google docs okay so you can you can try first before we move uh, for the next uh, 30 minutes we we take a break maybe about uh, two three minutes uh, you can test after this we go to google meet so if there is any 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 uh, question from the participant please uh, put up inside your inside the chat then i'll be happy to to answer while we take a break for a while uh, to, uh, to rest and also for those of you who want to explore uh, trying to use this uh, grab image text and also to to use with this uh, google keep
the the most important thing is the is the the design of your instruction because they, all this is just a tool so the design is important to ensure that uh, the learning outcome is attained because Jamboard is just uh, one application inside Google uh, regarding a whiteboard but there are various types of whiteboard available but the the good thing about Jamboard is that everything will be kept inside Google Drive and uh, when it is inside an ecosystem so it's very easy uh, to share and then uh, to link up as well as to to communicate with one app to the other okay i'll i hope that they I can share to you this while waiting uh, Let me open up this board for a while because I asked some of the students to make a mind map also using Jamboard. See under this, let me check. Ah, this one. Okay. This is just for their formative assessment, which I ask them to, to do the classification, differentiate. I give them a task during class, uh, the types of species. So I ask them to use Jamboard to uh, work together and uh, separate these uh, species based on the groups, the animal group. So you can also do that for formative assessment to see how much they understand. Um, yes. Question from Dr. Wan Norizan. Okay. Uh, she asked uh, Dr. Shah Jambot, can kita boleh create multiple frame? Boleh auto play? Ah, boleh, eh? Ah, Okay. So yang tu lah, dia, dia tak ada nak boleh auto play. Uh, it's just like macam satu whiteboard yang biasanya kita gunakan. The only thing is now, uh, this whiteboard can be presented online. Okay. And then uh, people macam di mana kita mengendalikan kelas kan. Student datang ke depan, dia boleh uh, conteng dan sebagainya. Uh, macam tu lah. So that uh, Jamboard ni, we are using this Jamboard in order to have an interaction yes. with the student, right? Yes, interaction with student and then collaborative work kan macam tadi saya bagi task and then uh, even macam tadi ada satu doktor kata yang nak buat problem solving, uh, boleh. Malahan kan kalau macam engineering pun ada satu lecturer di UM pun dia gunakan Jamboard sebab Jamboard tu dia boleh bagi certain ni and then dia nak tengok student tu kan uh, nak solve certain issues tu. Sebab situ dia boleh scribble dan sebagainya. In fact, yang ada juga lecturer matematik. Sebab matematik kan senang kita, dia boleh conteng nak buat equation semua tu kan. Ha, dia bagi task di mana student settlekan uh, apa, permasalahan kira-kira tu menggunakan Jamboard. Okay. Uh, satu, eh, bukan satu banyak juga tapi satu drawback Jamboard ni berbanding dengan ada satu lagi whiteboard. Ha, cuma yang ni bukan Google. Okay, this whiteboard ni, bagusnya, you can present multiple student punya board at the same time. That means, apa yang saya maksudkan, yang ni ada satu, saya kongsikan, ada satu pensyarah ni, dia mengajar bahasa Mandarin. Jadi, dia nak tengok student menulis dalam bahasa Mandarin, if you notice dalam Jamboard tadi yang kita buat collaboration kalau saya buka pada slide uh, number 2 kita tak nampak apa yang student buat pada slide number 3 number 4 kan okey tapi this whiteboard especially bagi siapa yang mengajar bahasa ke apa dia boleh bila dia share satu board ni this board the student will have 
automatically their own board. Dan katalah kita ada 30 student, di screen akan ada 30 board by each uh, individual. Dengan cara macam ni, bila katalah dia kata, okay kita nak tulis huruf ni ke apa, jadi dia boleh straight away tengok macam mana student tu tulis. Uh, that is uh, one another type of whiteboard. Yang itu, uh, pensyarah bahasa banyak pakai yang tu. Uh, we have one in uh, UMT pun dia pakai yang tu lah. Which is, saya pun tengok very, very impressive. Because you can track every student punya work lah sekali. Yang ini pun boleh tetapi kita kena klik satu-satu macam saya tunjuk tadi. Uh, amali tu kan setiap group. Yang tu. Ah, good Dr. Yong, thanks. So you can transform now your image, uh, the text inside the image into into uh, text. Okay, so we go to ah, yang itu Dr. Sharifah nanti saya bagi dekat tu Maslina. I need to ask back my my colleague tu. Uh, Allah nak bagi tahu nama dah lupa lah. Dr. Ain lah, Dr. Ain. Nanti saya saya bagi tahu the the name dekat Dr. Maslina. Okay, last uh, session for today adalah Google Meet. Google Meet is macam uh, Webex but is uh, under Google. Okay, come let us go. Again, if you want to go to Google Meet, this is the, the nine box. And you go to this one, Meet. Okay, just click. So, uh, can you see the interface? Huh? Sini. Okay, this is the interface. Okay, we go step by step. If you want to start a meeting, this is the, the green left part here, box, new meeting. Just click here. Okay, it will ask you, create meeting for later, start an instant meeting, just like Webex, you can start an instant meeting, start meeting, or you can schedule in a calendar. This is the thing, the interesting part with Google Meet because it, it has an ecosystem together with uh, other Google apps. So you can add up inside your Google Calendar. Okay, but we go to the, the, the basic thing. If let's say you want to have a class next week, Okay, but you don't put up in your schedule. You click the top part, create meeting for later. Okay, you just create. You will notice the link will be given. So in my case, you can see here meet.google.com slash xcg dash course dash bnv. So you can copy this. This is the link that you give to your student. Or you can put up inside your LMS. Okay, for lecture next week, this is the Google Meet link. Okay, provided don't lose that link because then you forgot to, to, to open up the meeting because you are the admin. Okay, once you put this and then you can enter the code. Okay, now you have the link. If you want to start the meeting, assuming that this is the week, you can paste over here. So paste this thing over here and just click join. Okay. So you can test. Uh, the camera is failed because now I'm using the camera for WebEx. So for those of you who are testing, you should see your face inside, but I don't think so because you are using Webex right now. So you can adjust this, uh, your microphone and also your video. And this one here, you can adjust just like Webex. Uh, at the back, right, you can select for green screen. Okay, uh, this is the background that you want. You can also add your own background okay so this on the right here is where you can set up how 
your background would be. Okay. After this, you just press join. So this is the interface when you join in with uh, Google Meet. So here you have the microphone, you have the video. If you want to cancel the meeting, you just press this uh, mic, the the gagang telephone, eh, the hand, the phone to end up. Okay. If you want to present something, your slide on the bottom right, you can click. Just like WebEx, you can select whether you want to use your entire screen, a certain window, or a tab. Okay. Now, the drawback, the drawback of uh, Google Meet is that if you are sharing a window, you cannot see the chat and also other participant uh, face. That is the, the, the drawback of uh, Google, Google Meet. But there is a tweak. If you look into YouTube, they will try, they will explain how you can uh, at the same time share and at the same time uh, display your, the one that uh, you can look at the chat. Okay, one of the way is you can click at here, tab. So here, for example, if I click tab, I want to share this. You want to do the interaction. Unima City Jamboard. Okay, this one. Okay, now I'm going to teach using Jamboard. At the same time, I want to see the student face. If I click here and share. Oh, okay. This is a tab. Okay. Then this will be the interface that the student will see. Can I take out this one? Okay, let me try again. Meet. Present. Tab. Ah, okay. Now I need to share the whole screen so that you can see. Stop sharing. I share the whole screen. Okay. Okay. I stop sharing again. One of the way is you need to take out this outside like I'm doing right now. Then you need to present. Then what the student will see is this one. The one that has this uh, gem board, but uh, you as a host will be able to see at the back here also uh, the participant as well as the chat. If you share the normal one, let's say a certain window, you will not be able to see at all. Let's say I use this, share. Uh, ah, okay, never mind. So generally, this is where you present and this is where you can see the chat and also the people inside here. So Google Meet is a very straightforward, okay? Uh, there is no, a feature like Zoom, where if you use Zoom, you can uh, scribble, right? Uh, when you have a meeting, generally when we were discussing about a certain content, then you can uh, uh, scribble. As well, I think WebEx also have that if you use WebEx meeting, uh, but Google, they don't have it. So you want to scribble, you scribble on the Jamboard or on the uh, Google Docs where you already collaborate using the sharing thing. That is the thing. 
meeting detail on this left side you can click so this is the meeting detail that you want to give to your student for example some of them might not get it so you can give back here okay so i guess that that is about it again let us go again if you want to end just click this one okay let's see just put it like this okay just to repeat back before we close the session when you open up google meet you will see this right and you want to create a meeting click this new meeting so you can start instantly or you can create later if you want to create later just create that uh, the button there and they will give you the link so this is the link that you will give to your students uh, for their discussion and also even the student can also you can recommend the student to have to meet using google meet for their discussion okay so if you have this just enter oh, and join so you can adjust uh, set your background if you want and just join For any adjustment, I forgot to tell you, this is the, the three dot button here at the bottom right. So you can open up your Jamboard here. You can change the layout of your screen. Okay, you can select or you can make auto. You can also adjust the, the type of microphone that you want to use okay, for this, uh, as well as the speaker. Uh, video and also uh, audio and video okay so i think that's about it it's a very it's just a simple uh, version okay for those of you who are not using uh, sub, uh, the institute didn't subscribe google suite for the personal one uh, you can uh, allow a maximum of 100 participants uh, and currently currently you are able to have a meeting for a maximum of 24 hours uh, what i mean is if you have a discussion that may take up two to three hours it's still okay like zoom uh, it's about maximum one hour right but uh, based on google by march they will stop this uh, access that means maximum allowable time for a discussion will be set to one hour just like zoom but if you subscribe there is also a subscription upgrade uh, you can have access to 150 participants and a meeting up to 24 hours meaning that you can have a discussion like the normal meeting right otherwise you need to cut short and uh, limit to one hour so that's about it so i think uh, that's all at the moment for today uh, the three things uh, uh, jamboard google keep and as well as google meet next week inshallah uh, we'll try to look into uh, youtube google uh, classroom and uh, the other thing 